What's up guys, here is Claudio from Visual Model WordPress Teams and in today's video we're gonna learn how to use the social icons or social media widget from Elementor WordPress Page Builder plugin in its free version in a simple, fast and effective way. First of all, go to our WordPress dashboard, page and add new. This can be very useful in the case that you are creating team members page as we did in the previous video that I'm gonna leave a link in the description below and a card over here. First of all, into the page editor, give this page some title and click into the blue button to open the Elementor front-end editor. This is gonna be loading you into the front-end editor. Click into this plus button and select the amount of columns that you want for this section. In my case, I'm gonna be selecting two. Click into the middle of the row so you can go to advanced and apply some margin or padding just to separate the section where you're gonna work from the navigation menu. After that, click into the plus button from one of these two columns and select the social widget or simply type into the search field social icons. This is the one that we are looking for. Click on it, hold your mouse and drop this widget into this column. By default, it comes with the Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube widgets. And you can click into the Add New or Add Item. Let me apply some more items, and after that, I'm gonna be selecting an icon. Firstly, Behance. Let me add item. If you click over the social media icon, it's gonna be opening the a bigger window with a lot of social media icons with some icon sets, for example, font awesome and some font awesome versions. So you can have a lot of versions of each icon to play with. I just do recommend that you use all the icons from the same version to make things look more equal and organize it. After that, into the link, you're gonna need to post or type your social media link, including the HTTP. For example, for Facebook, it's facebook.com at visualmodo. Secondly, into the color, you can use the default social media color or set to custom and into custom you have primary color and secondary color. This is the bigger color, for example, this dark, where it used to be a blue into the Facebook, a dark blue, and the secondary color, that's it's where white actually, but you can change it as well. Same for Twitter and every single social media icon that you want to apply. Now, if you have a look, we have columns that you can organize. It's set as auto and it already works, so no need to worry about. Now, the shape, you can change from three types. The circle, it's the one I'm gonna be using. And finally, the alignment options. By default, it comes to align it to the center, but you can align to the left or to the right. Now, if you go to the style tab, you can change the size, change the color from all of the icons at once, change the padding, the spacing and the raw gap. This is the padding. Now the spacing. And finally, the raw gap. Once there's no other elements into this page, the raw change will not have effect, not have visual effect. But it's a thing to look for. And now, the border type. 
you can apply some border around your social icons, in the case that you want, and there's a couple of styles of borders, widget, colors, and extra options to play with. And finally, we have the Advanced tab, where you can apply custom CSS classes or change spacings like margin or padding from every single side. And it is. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to use the comment section below in the case that you have any question. And don't forget to check out the visualmodel.com portfolio of amazing WordPress themes with full compatibility to Elementor WordPress plugin. And I'll see you later. All the best!